be handing out hugs after. <laughs> um, thanks for listening. So when I first would come to these sort of things, or like stand in line at the Bluebird Cafe, or go wherever I could hear my heroes, and I'd, I'd listen to them talk about what it was like when they first moved to town, when they were like new here and writing songs. And it always made me leave and go, Oh, it, like if they can do it, maybe I can too. Like I'd leave feeling so inspired and I'd hear them talk about things. I remember at first being like, I have no idea what this means. Like they'd say, this was my first cut. I was like, what's a cut? <laughs> I, it means that you get a song on somebody's record as a writer. And then I was like, wow, how does one get a cut? That's so cool. And um, <laughs> I just kept writing songs and showing up and filling up the pages of my journals. and. Um, I heard rumors that there was this thing that might happen, and then several, 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 several months later, because um, these things sort of just, they take time to, to happen in real life, and um, a song that I wrote with my friend Dan Natashin and Kate York, I was like, I heard rumors they were going to be recorded by, by Lady Antebellum, and then I literally lost my mind when I looked at the track listing of the record, and it's number 11, and it's featuring Little Big Town casually. And it is just a really crazy, cool, big deal for me. And I'm going to say, Yeah! Woo! Your passing car on one way street. Oh. 